Holy balls, guys. We're going to have to check that out. Wow. There we go. Nice. Greetings, guys, girls, and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Smart Days to Die, where we play Seven Days to Die modded. We're back with War of the Walkers. Um, the night is just over. I have been working a little bit on the base, um, as you see in the end of the last episode. So I think we're going to continue with this because we have to be ready for the horde. And I don't want to have just like a flimsy horde. I want to have a good time with it. So hopefully, we're going to be able to get some Molotov cocktails done, a couple of pipe bombs, and a little bit of that. And we're also going to do a little bit of grind every episode, like, you know, for the plants. And if we find a desert, there's something I want to try out because you guys were giving me some hits and tips how I can potentially get some plant fiber quicker. Other people have said, just spawn the damn thrash stuff in you don't need 10,000 plant fiber ever which is actually a very good point because usually quests work that you collect something so you can use it but nobody needs 10,000 plant fiber ever I think I'm not sure maybe there is a new recipe I have no idea anyway um I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started I don't even know when I got the auger but I just noticed I had this in my inventory I don't know when I got that. I must have been at the trader or something. I have no idea. But um, I just took some out with the shovel. Last episode, we'd used the shovel. I don't know if I did that to not make so much noise. I don't remember. Anyway, using the auger 3700, like, in no time. Like, it's much easier. And the same for here. Like, I don't know why I would not use the auger. Like, maybe, the, maybe I want it to be quiet. Because we're going to have to make uh, some cobblestone rocks. Here we go. And um, upgrade these guys here. Um, let's make about 500. I say that's good enough. And I'm fully aware of that. I could have made straight away um, concrete blocks here, but I wasn't sure if that's what I wanted. Now this tower here has absolutely zero purpose except us having somewhere where we can climb up, jump across, and get back into our house. Because this is the one problem I find myself over and over uh, faced with: that when something gets destroyed, we're screwed. So if we have a couple of those towers. And we can use them then to actually like make an outer wall or something like that uh, around the premise. That would be absolutely fantastic. I mean, it is a bit close uh, to the house, but that's so we can jump across like so. End of story. Now, um, the, the spikes that I just made, um, let's place them down here and have a look. And see how this is going to work. So I want them this high. So let's just turn them this way. There we go. Before we do anything else, let's upgrade that. That's what I want to use the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the concrete mix for in the moment. For this. Because we can't use rebar frames yet unless we buy them. We can't use concrete mix yet unless we buy it until we have the builder class quest finished. And that's exactly the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing here. So let's destroy that. Because we should be able to make, um... A concrete block, a wet concrete block. Ah, damn it! We can't. We need the, the the builder's workbench for that. Oh yeah, we still have some rebar frames. Nice. Oh yeah, I to totally forgot about that. There we go. Lovely. And we can upgrade that instead, and that will be reinforced straight away. Nice. Now this won't be reinforced. This will just dry, and then we're gonna make it reinforced after that. But that means that the, the bottom part will be absolutely solid, and they won't be able to crawl in. They won't be able to do anything. Now this here we're probably better off destroying. That's only a little bit left. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. And again, let's put that in here. Upgraded. It. it will be totally reinforced straight away. And over time, we're gonna go deeper and deeper, and we're gonna put some things on top of. Um, to protect that or in front of anyway so this here is going to be really really good this is what i have in mind now we are going to um probably make this two rows and then we're going to just use wood frames to make sure that the guys are actually walking up there because in the end of the day this is literally if i wouldn't have built that house i would have made it all deeper to be honest like if i would if i would have built that house myself because what we want is we want the zombies to walk on top of it Actually, do you know what we use plant fiber for? To make shit ton of that. I think that would be fair. It takes 13 seconds though to make, so I think we can make that in the workbench and queued up, because making this all natural um, would might actually be nice, but hey-ho, we're going to use wood frames instead for the moment, so there you go. And we're gonna have to fix all this. We're gonna have to hammer them all out. And I'm extracting already a lot more scrap iron from my forge. And it would be good if we can clean all this up. Because I don't want that half house low, half house big. It's not something I want. Like, I mean, I just wanna, I just wanna get rid of them. I mean, we can use the auger. 
Yeah, and seeing that we have one, which I never realized we had in the last episode, we can just do that. There you go. We have a little bit of gas left, so let's take a few apart. There we go. And that's it. I don't know if I have more inside the house, but we'll see. Anyway, another thing that I want to find out is if we have... We have desert over here, yeah? So I want to drive in the desert. There's something I want to try out um, that hopefully will get us faster plant fiber. Um, but we'll see. Holy balls, guys. We're going to have to check that out. Wow. There we go. Nice. Oh, look at them. They're all, they're all screamers. Oh, my balls. Well, they're not screamers. They are crawlers. Oh wow! Whoa! It's like the, the it's like snap. <laughs> okay, come on, let's destroy these guys. Wow! Oh, they actually got me. Oh whoa 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 whoa! Okay, that is really really painful. Oh whoa! Okay, we might want to take our arrows to them. Come on. Oh, they have some reach. Nice. There we go. There we go. Okay, he's, he's busy with that tree. Oh! These guys are a bit tougher here. Oh! Randomly turning circles again, I see, I see, I see, I see. There we go. Holy balls. And then these guys, do their walk-up rates up right straight away, or is it only after you hit them? I didn't even notice that now. There we go. Nice. Totally focused here right now. Oh my god. Sometimes it takes three shots. That's insane. The noise they make is so creepy. With the clacking. Okay, come on. In the face. There we go. Nice. Wow, okay, let's see what loot we have here. I'm making a couple of bellows right now. Nice, that is awesome. Let's scrap that. The other bellows are on the way? Yes. Well, we're gonna have to deal with these guys. Like, if we don't, they're just gonna keep piling up and destroy the house, which would be absolutely terrible. So let's scrap all that. Don't even let the garbage pile up. We might want to keep the bullet tips, actually. Okay, is that it? Oh, nice! I'm not saying nice because of that, but because of that. <laughs> so let's see what else we got. Also, guys, our coffee is finished! I was just upstairs trying to get the... Um... Nice! Trying to get the hole down. Come on. It's one in the house, is it? Could be. Yeah, one of them made it in the house. I left it open here. Like, I'm not really worried during the day about things getting in. So, I wasn't too worried about that either. But, um, yeah. Wow. Oh, there's one more. Oh. Nice. Okay, there's nobody on top. No, excellent. And they didn't damage anything either. Now, I was in the middle of working on this as well. So what, what I'm going to do is, because here's where we have the support, the wall. Um, there's another one over there, is there? I think so. Let me just deal with that one. Or is it too far away? Because he's gonna come and when I least expect it, he will be coming to bite us in the ass. There we go, nice. Whoop! Oh, balls! 
There we go. Nice. Grain alcohol for the win. What did we do to ourselves, guys? What did we do? Did I hurt myself? Is that it? I sprained my leg. Holy balls. That's not good. But at least we can jump and we can still run. Uh, run. Run. Yeah, that as well. So that should be okay. Anyway, let's see what we have in the medical box. Maybe we have something useful there. And we do have a leg booster. Excellent. So we're going to take that and we're going to be fine. Okay, so what I have planned here on this side is um, I'm going to leave a three space door here. And I literally will hack my way through here. And the idea is to get rid of this roof completely at some point. It will just be gone because it's completely pointless to have. It's just in the way and um, I can't build anything inside because of the angle bits. So this way, at least, I will be able to place my forges, do everything I want to do and don't have to worry about um, these silly angles. Um, okay, that's the... let me see. There we go. Excellent! Look at that! Beautiful! Now, the good thing about that is, is that we can just hack these guys up here and then they should just drop. I don't think they should destroy anything here, but just in case, we're going to clear these guys out. There we go. Because the last thing I need is like something uh, crushing my class, um, whoop, my class specific um, vending machine. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Excellent stuff. And we're going to take this out as well. And look at that, it's leveling up our mining tools. This is the best axe I've found in the game so far. The most uh, useful thing in, in the game so far. There we go, nice. And we're just gonna take this side out here and then we're just gonna let it drop. End of story. Is that above anything now? That's the last bit of the mid. Yeah, that's what you do, you make it drop right on your face. This is looking much better now. I like that, I prefer that. Uh, much more open and there we go. This seems to be exactly the right height for us not to break our legs As soon as I go beside it, it's like a sprained leg. Okay, look at that. We got four of them. Nice Okay, so let's put four of them down We're Gonna start duplicating our coffee Come on. Oh, yeah, we have to I keep forgetting that we have to make uh, seeds out of them and I can't holy balls I can't because I need a mortal and pestle don't I? Yes, I do. And we can actually make that, which is really, really good. Okay, how many... I need more glue. I had more glue. Oh, there it is. I don't know why it's in there. That's a completely wrong... Um... There we go. Nice. That's the wrong chest for all of that. There we go. That's the right chest. Holy balls. And the other class um, container, whatever you... Oh, look at that. A class challenge. Male zombies. Oh, I like it. Oh, I have money. I have money. And um, these class quests, I'm uh, I'm hoping that... Oh, there's where our oil is. Okay. I was wondering where it is. I don't want to have things in two different chests. There we go. Nice. So let's see what we have here. We have forged iron. Yeah, we're definitely gonna buy all that. Saves us some time. This we already know. Hunting knife we already know. Should we buy the forged tungsten every time it's there, just in case? I mean, okay. Oh, challenge. Class challenge. Gold tip knife. But you know what? That costs nothing. Let's just buy the first one and see what this is all about. Okay, a class quest. Read. Melee 50 zombies using any melee weapon. I mean, we're gonna do that anyway, okay? So, what is we are getting for it? Let me see here. 50 zombies. Where's our 50 zombies quest? There we go. Melee zombies. And what do we get in return? Four skill points and 4,500 uh, experience. That's not bad, seeing that we're going to kill them anyway. So we might as well buy the next one. Um, gold tip machete and gold tip knife. Um, I buy them, but I don't think I can make them in the moment because, well, we can't. So I'm going to put them up here. Excellent stuff. And we're going to put these guys, which shouldn't be here. I don't know how I do things sometimes. It's really, really weird. 
Anyway, I already put the 10,000 of each of the wood and everything in my inventory just in case we're gonna get lucky with the 10,000 uh, plant fiber and actually get them done because that would be pretty amazing. Okay, so here we go. Excellent. Now, let's put it in here. There we go. We have some tungsten now, which is really good. And here's the leather. Excellent stuff. So we have the forges down. We have the mortar and pestle done. Let's put it down. Um, no, just in case we put more class things. Ah, I don't know. Let's. Ah, I'm not so sure. Let's let's put it. Let's let's put it here. Okay, because this is where our wall goes anyway. So we might as well. Now I'm gonna leave the roof close to here anyway, just in case it rains so that we can hide under the roof. But I like the way it's open. Now maybe I'm gonna even leave it with a design like that and just go a little bit more down until we hit the chimney press. And that's about it. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see here. We need to make coffee beans. Do I know how to make coffee beans? I don't. Why is that? Why is that? Because farming, I bet you, farming, corn, blueberry, seeds, oh my balls, we can't do that. And then this is where the coffee is? No. Bird's nest tree? Somebody told me to check this out, okay? Learn how to craft this bird's nest tree. Simply plant it and imagine the birds nesting on your little tree. Okay, we're gonna do this because somebody told me to check that out. We're also gonna learn the farming and I don't know where our coffee seeds are. Is coffee something that we have to get separately? No. Um, farming, that's all there is for farming, so... Ugh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, destroyed. Why not? Oh, we can make coffee seeds. Excellent. That is sweet. I was worried there for a second that we can't make coffee seeds. Okay, so let's go and plant these guys. Also, bird's tree, whatever it's called. Let's see. A bird's nest tree. Crafted at the mortar and pestle. We need fertilizer for it, though. Ooh, okay. I don't think I have any fertilizer just yet. I have turd and stuff, but... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, we're getting into the desert now. Now, you see all these cactus, sis, 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 okay? Now, let's pick up all the yucca as well. Now, somebody said I can either... I don't know if I can do that with the machiti. No, the machiti just takes too long. That will, that will just take forever. And there's... We, we're not actually getting... Oy, oy, oy. We're not actually getting anything. There we go. Nice. Bam! First zombie down. 49 to go. Now, um... Oh, bird's nest. Okay. And we also have some aloe vera here, which is great. And we also can dig up some sand, which we're probably going to do as well. Because, well, we need it. But um, let's see what we get when we smack with that. We get 15. Okay. 15. What is if we do it with the auger? Ah, we don't have any, we don't have any um, gas. Is there a broken car here somewhere? No. Okay. So this here gives us 15 every time. Now, I don't know if this is going to be faster than us literally just um, doing this, because this is five at a time, but it's much faster than going from uh, cactus to cactus. I think this is faster. Look at that. We get the steel, the, the, the steel leveled up as well. And this one we're just going to hit. Bam. Once. 15. And there's a car as well. So let's test it out with an auger. Did I, did I bring my wrench? Yes. There we go. Nice. Let's pick up the auger. It's, oh, nice. Let's fix, uh, it's, uh, fill up the auger. Fix the auger. So now we don't need to fix it. It's already fixed. And let's see if we get more with the auger. We do. Ooh. So let's see how much we're actually going to get with the auger. Oh, wow. We get 33 with the auger. I don't know why I just did that instead of my melee weapon. Ah, come on, hit it, hit it in the balls. There you go, right in the face balls. There, nice. Okay, take your money. Yeah, my money now, bitch. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's go from cactus to cactus. Can we just hold it down? Yeah. Nice. I love it, guys. I love it. 
Is it gonna give me something more when I get actually E? Okay. No, it just gives me one. How much? Oh! How much magic do we get? Look at that, baby! Nice! And we get some sand. Love it! Might as well get some sand here going. There we go. Nice. And that sand allows us to make later on more concrete, but it also allows us to... Um... Oh, we're back to 15. But it also allows us to um, make some jars as well with glass. That is really, really cool. So if we can find another car, then we might have a field day on these cactus. <laughs> We have several NPCs here, which is awesome, so we don't have to worry about killing zombies. I'm just gonna do this for a couple of minutes, and then we'll see. We're already at 6,162. Um, I don't think I have enough gas, but there's, there's a lot more cars on the roads, like, so I'm not really too worried about it. And the cactus seem to be in a good distance, so I can get... If I get 30 per cactus, even from the small one, that is amazing. Then it's definitely better than the... Uh, is smacking the grass in the forest. So thank you very much guys for letting me know about this. You guys are amazing. Oh, and by the way, I believe uh, CB the Great has left a couple of comments. I don't know why I missed them. I I get a lot of comments. I think there's something like over 100 comments per video. I try to get through all of them, but not all of them are notified for whatever reason. I don't know why YouTube doesn't do that. I have no idea, but when I look at my YouTube notifications, I can see some comments and some I can't. I think that has to do with the type of account someone has. Um, so I think it has to do with the fact if someone has their own YouTube channel in their comment, even if they have zero subscribers, it doesn't matter, then I get um, notified. Otherwise, I don't. It's really, really weird. So if I don't look straight away at the, the, the comment section or at specifically the comments targeted at the video, I can miss them sometimes. And so I apologize for that, guys. It's not intentional. It's like I, I, don't, I don't always have the time to go through all of them, but I try to see every now and then uh, what the latest comments are. So I'm sorry if I miss any of them, I'm, I apologize. So if I obviously miss them by not doing something or by not responding to it in the next video, let me know again in the comments, okay? Just keep writing. Very awesome, you can see it on the bottom right there. Um, just if you go a little bit back, you can still see it on the bottom right. We just picked up an auger, a pistol, and uh, some bullets, which is nice. Not an auger, an auger blade, which is really, really awesome. Now, let's see how much we have, actually. 7,438, and that was only with 238 gas. So I'm going to get more gas, guys, and I think I'm going to be determined. I'm going to get this builder quest done in this episode. End of story. And I'm not going to spawn it in because this is like principle now, okay? I want to get the damn thing done. Let's see, we're gonna follow the road so we can see if we can get more cars, so we can get more oil because that's what we need. And oh, look at that. We haven't been here before, so that's good. We're exploring as well. Yay! If there is another town, I'm not gonna go through the town unless it's a useful, massive POI a bookstore or something. Um, and also this thing I see in the distance over there, I want to use that. I want to do something with it and try it out. Um, something that was changed in the last update, which I'm actually quite looking forward to to test out so that should be exciting anyway um yeah so let's get some oil and i see you guys in a second now just to test something out we're gonna go over there to the tower so recently in an update um the game was changed to allow stacking of dropping resources i think it was across the board because when i just destroyed some of my roof things fell down but what used to happen is they come down and then the next part that falls on top of it destroys the part below it and I had now multiple pieces of wood stacked on top of each other. So I want to see what the limit is. I want to see if it's random, if it's like a chance off, or if it always stacks on top of each other. Which means we could destroy a tower like that. You see in the distance there, and I point at it like you can see it, but you can't. Which is really stupid of me. And um, <laughs> I hope I get enough. Um, do I get a repair kit? Ah, oh, balls. What do we need to make a repair kit? I don't think I have this stuff. What do we... Ah, oh, we can't even make it. Okay, so repair kits is something I can't make it which is a sh shidam which is something bad so which means we're gonna have to be careful with our auger we don't want to waste it because we need it for our um plant fiber shenanigans so what we're going to do is we're gonna go over here what is that i thought it was a, a pig or something so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna head inside here there we go I knew she was there, I just thought she was further away. Uh, I was trying to do a cool thing, like, where I just, like, you know, mind my own business. And I'm going, like, you know, hack, and then just swap 
Bam! I thought she was further away. Woo! Genie Mac. That gave me a good fright because I thought I, I thought I had more time. Okay, so wow, there's two right beside each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy down. Yeah? And then we're gonna let it all drop and on top of each other, which hopefully will then uh, give us the iron. Oh, hello. That's okay, that's okay. Not nothing to worry about here. Okay, we probably should... Oh, look at that. We have actually a wrench. How fast is this? Ah, uh, this is not fast enough. How fast is this? That is much faster. Thank you very much. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go right through these guys here. And this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna do that off camera now. I'm gonna go around, take them all out, and... Oh. Nope. Not happening. There we go. Sorry, Stevie. Now, before we take the last one down, let me just destroy one of them. Okay, just to see how much we get. Now, I put one metal here, one iron there, so we can see. Okay, that's 15. I think from a single drop one, we get more. But if they're all stuck on top of each other now, that would be pretty amazing. Well, I don't think they all will stack, but some of them should stack now. So the idea was that he said in the patch notes that things will start stacking on top of each other. And they do, not as much as I was hoping for, but they do, he was not lying. And one of them gives us 23. There we go, very nice, I like it. And do we get more from the auger? Seeing that I have a little bit of oil now, we can test that out. A gas, sorry. We get 48, nice. And how much do we get from one of those? Yeah, we're not, we're not, we don't want to waste it. We're going to go with the axe because we, we need it for the plant fiber. So I'm going to pick all the, up, uh, up all these irons, which is really, really good. Um, very, very good source. So we're going to get loads of metal spikes. On. Actually, we can upgrade all the metal spikes as well. So metal spikes all around the house, upgrade them all. Then we're going to have a look if we can get into... Um, Molotov is not locked behind anything, isn't it? No. Okay, so let me just double check. Molotov cocktails. We can make them nice. Look at that. That is awesome. So we're going to get a couple of more cars. We have a lot more oil at home. This is going to be so cool. Somebody was also saying in the comments, I should fight zombies with that. Because you're moving it so fast and, lose, and using so little stamina that you constantly have them push back like that. And they, they won't be able to get up. But again, you're... This thing will make, it does one damage um, at a time. So it wouldn't be something you should be doing a lot um, with different zombies because like the ferals, for example. So you just keep backing up and it will actually like slowly make them stumble all the time. So they won't get a chance to hit you. And then once they're on the ground, you just, you know, mail them to death and that's it. So it's actually pretty cool. So thanks very much for the tip. So we should try that out on a feral or something really hardcore as well. And also these guys, I figured I, I was just about to pick them up and I hit them with the hand and I was like, oh, that takes forever. The weed whacker is great for this. Look at this. It's so fast. It just hits it once and that's it. But it only does one damage, which is enough actually for these guys here. Look at that. And we get our bladed skill up. So I would recommend if you come across a town, you know, and you have, you have a weed whacker, definitely pick up these fields. Even if you don't need any of the seeds or anything, just to level up your bladed weapon damage. You can even run through them and it nearly picks them all up. Unbelievable. Look at that. That is so cool. What is that? Okay. <laughs> One gets through. Okay. What is that place? I have noticed that before. Oh, I love you. You're so good. You always give me a nice iron shovel. Scrap it. Wow. 
Holy balls. What is this? And this is just the outside again. Wow, this is a this is an awesome little bunker. You can shoot through here. Well, it's not really good for defense because like, well, down here you're well, pretty much exposed and they're just going to come in. But that is so cool. So let's see what we have. Nothing. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh, lovely. Way yo. There we go. This is awesome. I've never seen this place before. That is so cool. What is this POI called? Let me know if you know. Uh, you know what? We're going to eat them. There we go. Because I think we can take this and that gets rid of our illness. Ooh, vitamin pills do not get rid of um, food poison. Interesting. Yeah, it will last a couple of seconds and then it's better. So we're just going to have to wait. We can open this in the meantime. It only lasts about 25 seconds, so it's grand. So let's see what's in here. Oh, yes. What do we get? What do we get? Something snazzy. Ooh. Oh, nice. A weapon crate. Let me see. Oh, another pistol and a hunting rifle receiver. All right, all right, all right. Ooh. Okay, so let's take let's 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 break this down. Here we go. And let's get into here. That is pretty awesome. This is so cool. I never seen this place before. If you have come across this place before, let me know what you found in it. If it had like really awesome loot in it for you or not. And I also actually, while I'm here, let me take all these beds apart, only the top level, because we want to get all the feathers. We definitely want the feathers. There we go, nice. Lovely. Let's put the... No, not that, you plank. There we go. Let's see what's in it. Nice, a hunting and repair kits, yes! Oh, repair! Mm, yeah, baby! Oh, man. That is just too awesome. I assume the door was for the other side. Let me just double, triple check. Oh, hello. That is cool. And then the zombies come up here and they go rah, 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 and they can go on top and everything. This is amazing. This is actually a really cool design. I like it. I don't think it's efficient for a horde night, maybe, but it's still awesome. Okay. Back to the beach we go. No. Oh, unless we can find that house. I'm still looking if we can find that house design here. Oh, whoa, balls. <laughs> if we can find this house design, which had these... Oh, oh is that a library? Oh, man. Are we going to go through the library? I don't know if we should at this stage. Oh, maybe we should. Okay, okay. But first, we're going to have to get the doggy. Okay, let's get the pistol out. Where's that pistol we found? Where's that pistol we found? There we go. One was empty. The other one wasn't. There we go. Oh, okay. Excellent. Love it. We have two bullets left. There we go. Warning shots fired. Um... <laughs> Where's my knife? There's my knife. Yeah, we don't need these guys. Oh, we don't need these guys for now. End of story. But I need the meat. We need to cook a lot of meat. We need to cook a lot of food. Okay, so let's go inside, I'd say, and just really quickly do the... Do the box. I think it's a, it's a library, isn't it? Oh, it's not. What the hell is this? Oh, but there's a bookshelf. Oh! Oh, he's coming! Ah! That's not the library! Bye! <laughs> I thought it was a library. Oh, a lovely little house. At the end, there's actually a chest up here as well. If you know these houses, it's actually pretty cool because you can just uh, go exactly where you want to go. You don't have to waste your time with anything else. There you go. Let's just smack a Rooney. Nice, and there's usually another guy in the toilet. I just put a bandage on, I thought. Oh, I didn't. Okay. There you go. All right. Calm down. There 
There we go. Nice. Eventually, they all go down. So in this house, if you haven't seen it before, what you really want to be looking for is, well, we're in the toilet. We might as well check the toilet. But what you're actually looking for is up here. This chest. Sometimes it can have something awesome in it. And most of the time it doesn't. But sometimes it can have something cool in it. Okay, that's it. Let's go back to the desert, guys, and finish off our plant fiber quest. Because that is going to be awesome. The moment is finally here. We are five away from 10,000. 9,995. And here we go. We finished our first builder quest. What is it now? We have to gather iron, 10,000. We have 8,181. You see, that is no problem. Especially seeing that we have more at home. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to continue. So it actually, I like that it's builder related. Though, okay, that basically anything you do is related to gathering resources, all that jazz. There's a serious lag spike here. It's probably because of all the drilling I've done. Um, unbelievable amount of drilling. Anyway, there we go. Nice. What is that? Sink? Oh, do I have not? Do I not have room? Oh, we have too many plant fibers. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> there we go and what do we have copper fragments and what else can we not pick up zinc no we need kind of these i would say let's eat the apple there we go yes and then pick up the paper and here's the sink excellent stuff so we have the paper back up as well nice and we have some oil shale i don't know where i get the oil shale from but i have i think it's from um Destroying stones from the desert. They seem to have a byproduct of uh, oil shale. Let, let us just test that for a second. So how much oil shale do we have? We have 754. I think it's a byproduct of these stones. There we go. You see it there. 10. But it's. I think it's only the stones in the desert. Yeah, because we're not getting any um, uh, Peruvian matching powder. Anyway... That was pretty awesome. Also, these three bags, I emptied them. That's where we got the shotgun from and the shotgun bullets, which is really awesome. It's a son of shotgun, but hey-ho, you know, can't have everything. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. That was awesome. We managed to get to the next stage of the Gather Iron Quest. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, ooh, look at that. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming. All right, let's see if we can finish this. I queued up a couple of iron here. 250, 250, 250, and now we need 70 more, and here we go. Excellent. All right, let's see what the next quest is. Build this class two of five completed. Thank you very much. Did we get any points? We have loads of points now. Craft a claw hammer and craft a repair claw hammer. Okay, that's easy. Like, that's no problem. We have, like, forged iron here. So it's funny how the, it goes higher and becomes easier. That just doesn't make sense. And because we already have one, we can actually repair this one right away. There you go. Before we even craft this one. Excellent. So we already have part of it done. All we need now is to craft it. All right. That should be finished now. Two seconds left. And three. Now the last one before we can make the thing. Craft wood frame. Place wood frames. Upgrade wood frames. Okay, but I don't want to really build a wood structure anymore. Okay, you know what? We're going to place 50 wood frames because we have to make them anyway. So that should actually be pretty quick because... Uh, oh, wood frames. There we go. We can make so many. We should be fine. Okay, let's put 50 in. And we're going to place 50 anyway because we're doing uh, the wall here. So that should be pretty straightforward. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go about this high. That should be fine. There we go. Nice. I suppose we can do this.
There we go. And we have nearly 50 down. Let's finish the rest. There we go. Nice. Let's upgrade 50. One short. There we go. <laughs> That's it. I don't think we actually have the fragments uh, to learn the final part of the quest, but we can check. I don't think so. I think we have A, B, and that's it. A, B, and we need C. So, there you go. A, B, and C. So, B, C is missing. Gather, build a class, build a craft, build a class paper. So, we're going to do a trip in the morning to the trader and see if he has what we need. And if not then I will sell whatever I can to make 50,000 coins and I will just spawn it in for 50,000 coins because I'm not spending um, 40 days looking for a fragment. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Let me know what you think about that, actually. Like, you know, should I spawn it in? I don't know if anybody watches these outros, but um, if I spawn it in, what do you think is a fair price?